Hey guys, what's up? Um, I am trying something different because I am at my computer. It says I am live now. I am trying something different. I actually am I'm in the group Level Up, which I was asked to come on and talk to you guys about join conversations and recruiting, which we're not in the Army, so I don't normally like using the term recruiting, but to understand what we're doing, sometimes you have to use that kind of terminology. But I also, it gave me the option of sharing to multiple groups. So I might be live on my team page too, because I like doing training on Wednesdays. We call them Wednesdays in Wonderland because my name is Nicole Greener and I'm the star director of team We're All Wickless here. It's my little side twist on Alice in Wonderland because it happens to be my most favorite thing in the whole entire world. And I have been a consultant since November of 2015 hit director in November of 2017 and hit star director in November of 2020. Um, it was a magic year for like so many of us. So I was asked to come and talk to you guys about joint conversations, um, adding people to your team, offering the Sensi Consultant opportunity to different people and what that conversation can look like. So I hope that I don't talk too long. I can talk forever about this topic. I am by no means like the largest recruiter. I don't have um, I don't have a crap ton of people on my team. I, I have just under a hundred. Um, I'm still growing. We're always like still growing. But I enjoy conversations with different people about the Sensi opportunity. So I have them so frequently. I'm very comfortable with them. And my goal here today is to try and help you feel more comfortable about having these kind of conversations also. So I appreciate um, you guys that check this out. Um, I know I'm going like random like live in a weird time of the day. It's almost three o'clock Eastern time. So if you're watching this and it's the replay, just hashtag replay because um, I would love to see how many people check this out um, after the fact and I hope that it helps you. So if we're going to talk about having conversations with people i want to kind of correlate um, a thought process that i help um, relate things to people so if you can think about sensi as a giant table at your favorite restaurant and you work there at this giant table this is your table at this giant restaurant and you are offering the sensi opportunity to everybody that comes to the table okay um, I like to incorporate it in this because you can kind of see how it, it ebbs and it flows. So if you've ever been to a restaurant, I hope you have, or if you've ever worked at a restaurant, say as a waitress or a waiter, then you can kind of understand this theory that I have that goes back and forth with offering this joint opportunity. So when people come and they sit at your table, um, you offer them menus, you offer them something for them to look at to decide what they want to get that day. What do they want to consume? Um, and you know that everybody that sits at the table wants different things. Not everybody's going to order the same kind of things. Some people just come and they want a beverage. Some people sit down, they want a beverage and they want maybe like an appetizer, like nibble food, something small. Um, some people just want a salad and some people come in there and they're very hungry and they want an appetizer and they want a huge entree and then they get dessert they get like the whole works everybody's appetite is different so think about that when you're thinking about how you're offering the joint opportunity to people um, everybody's appetite is going to be different but i'm going to keep circling back on this thought process that at sensi there's room at your table for every type of appetite every single type of person that Sensi could bless, there's room at the table for everybody. Your, your table's huge. It just, you can't even see it. It goes into the other room. Everybody can sit down. You have space for everybody and you don't have to worry about not having enough room. So I've had people in the past say things like, oh, well, yeah, but I'm, I'm, not, a, I'm not a really good salesperson. Well, I'm not a salesperson. I'm a full-time police officer. Um, I've been a police officer for 20 years and I have like besides maybe being a waitress before managing a grocery store when I was younger uh, things of that those are the only kind of sales that I have experience in in my background I'm not a huge salesperson and 
I don't feel that sharing Sensi products or the Sensi opportunity in any way, shape, or form is um, is a, being a salesperson. So I like to try and help people get out of that mindset because the people that you should be having these conversations with already absolutely love Sensi, just like you. Um, that's how I look at it. A lot of my best customers have become consultants and they they just absolutely are great at it not knowing when they jump into it but they're actually great at it because they love the product and that's the number one thing if you love the product you can do very well with sensi so when we're sitting at this table and people are ordering what they want you can look at say somebody that you know just wants a beverage or like say like like i got my coffee say someone's sitting down and they just they just want coffee they're going to peruse the menu they're just they're looking okay. i'll let you know if i want anything you're like okay that's great. So a great waitress, waiter, a great person that um, cares about what their customers have or, or their, their happiness, they're going to go around a few times and they're going to make sure that they're okay. So I've had it happen before where I will have a conversation about joining with somebody over and over and over again. And this can span over a long period of time some of them have spanned over years and every time like i come over and i'm like hey i'm like you know is your coffee need to be warmed up do you do you need anything else are you looking for anything else on the menu are you hungry yet those are kind of like those little conversations that i'm having with them you know where i'm just kind of feeding them stuff and answering their questions and letting them know that i'm here if they ever decide that they want something more or they want something else um and so that's how you're going to build relationships with your friends and your customers also. I don't know about you. I don't know how long everybody has been a consultant, but I know that when I first started, you obviously first start with like your friends and your family, and then you'll have people that'll host, you know, some type of party or get together and you start to accumulate new people that are strangers from those friends, families that host these parties. And that's another reason why you want to always be doing that so that you can always meet new people Another great way is events. But you always want to be trying to meet new people that love home fragrance, love home decor, love Scentsy, and you can have these conversations with them all the time. Um, one of the things that I like to focus on when I'm deciding if I'm going to have these conversations with someone or not is the frequency that they buy, the products that they buy. Because I don't know about you, but I always love sharing the best possible uh, deal that somebody could get on a product. So when you have someone that buys frequently enough from you, say, you know, even if you were to look at it more than two times every six months, if they're buying more than that, you should be talking to them about being a consultant and the perks and the benefits of doing that. And the worst case, you should be like suggesting to them if they're buying like bars and whiffs and consumable products about getting the Scentsy Club so that they can get a discount on that too. So one of the things that I always stress is know your products, know your bundles and your saves and know, know the best way to bundle things up for people so that they're always getting the best deal possible because they're going to really appreciate you doing that. But then also understanding that when somebody comes to you with like say like a huge order or if you have like a hostess and they did phenomenal you really want to to be able to explain to them um all the perks and benefits of what would happen if they joined and if you aren't familiar we always have at least two different uh ways that you can join we have our standard 99 dollars kit that will fluctuate from month to month with different products. So right now you have that expanded kit that's got your fall winter uh, catalogs and testers. It has your spring summer catalog and your transition testers. It also has those extra 10 bars of all the brand new fragrances. And then it comes with all the regular stuff that comes in a full size kit, like your warmer bar of wax, things of that nature. So you always want to um, know about the product that you have to offer and that is like a big one because it, it can change like we have different specials every month we've had specials where you got a purifier we've had specials where you've gotten diffusers um they have expanded those kits and and made them 
really awesome and they try to change it up all the time for us to help us offer our customers and our best um, customers uh, really great deals. So you also have something called the Hostess Exclusive Starter Kit. And that is just a slightly uh, watered down version of our kit. It still comes with everything that you would need to join. And you're going to get like your warmer, you're going to get your full set of testers, catalogs, you're going to get other consultant supplies, and then you're going to get like a bar of wax. Um, I don't have the image up in front of me to be able to tell you. It's it's slightly less product because in the $99 kit, you'll get like cleaning products and just other things. So I really like offering that every time I have a, um, a party that I'm going to submit. So lately, over the past few years, if I have like hostesses, like actual hostesses for parties, it has typically been, no lie, two to four times a year. I offer them, but I don't always get them. But I will submit party orders multiple times a month. Um, what I basically do is I collect orders from different customers by sharing different products, following up with customers, and they'll give me orders. So I could get, you know, 10 orders of a six pack of bars from 10 different people. And if I put them all together, I have a party order. So when I have that party order, I also have a hostess exclusive kit that is available for me to add um, for $59 plus tax. So you can offer that to anybody. And I like to keep all of those customers and friends um, sensi holics in, in mind when I have those kits available so that I can offer it to them and at that reduced cost of $59. And sometimes, um, if, especially if it's something that I'm putting the bulk orders in and I'm the one that um, can cash in on those credits, I can actually reduce the cost of that. And when I offer it to someone, it's a one-on-one -on -one conversation. So it's within compliance. Um, I will do a post typically on my uh, Facebook. I will also message people. You're pressing like, who do you message? Well, I keep a list. I don't know about you, but I like lists. I like listing things out. It helps me to try to like reel in my day and keep myself somewhat focused on what I'm working on. So I'll prioritize a list. Well, I also have a list of people that I've had conversations with before, people that I think would do great as a Sensi consultant, or people that I think would actually save a great amount of money because they're buying so much product, I would love to see them get the discount, get the commission back of that 20% up to 30% plus bonuses if they were to grow their team. You're probably going like, well, I don't, like, what does that mean? That's another reason why you need to understand what this whole opportunity is. You have to make sure that you're reading up and educating yourself on all of your possible things that you have to offer for your customers so that they are informed completely in making the decision to join or not. Coffee break. So what I what I do and I have done trainings on this before and it's super easy if you've if you've never ever ever done a hostess flip before um, what you will do and you can offer this to anybody. So say I have a bulk order that's going in, it's reached party levels, and I put my, my post out on Facebook and I say, I have an unlocked opportunity kit available, or I say I have an unlocked hostess join kit, I have an unlocked consultant opportunity kit. I have tried wording so many different ways because wording it different ways can hit like a nerve with different people where they might be like, oh, what's an opportunity kit? And so then they message you or they comment on the post and they're like, hey, what is that? I'm interested. So then you message them and you're going to have a conversation with them and you're going to say, hey, Sensi offers this. I have a party that's closing and, you know, it's a joint kit. You would become a consultant, but, you know, you with all your purchases that you make, you would get money back on your purchases and commission every month. And I'll explain everything to them and let them ask questions and answer their questions. So I'll go at it from two different angles. When I have people comment, I message them, I go through my list. So a lot of times you will have conversations with people about joining and they're going to say no. So let's go back to the restaurant. A really good waitress is going to come by and check on you every so many minutes, eight, 10 minutes or however. Remember like they bring your food out, 
you know, they come back to check on you, they bring, they come and they give you the, the menu and they give you your drink, right? Okay, so they don't just like leave and never, ever, ever come back again, right? They're going to come back and they're going to say, here's your drinks. Um, is there anything you want to order? They're going to ask these questions. It's the same thing. So the first time that I bring somebody a menu and I explain to them like a bunch of perks that I think they would like about being a consultant and I won't tell them everything. I'll just tell them things that I think are hitting on them right now. You buy a lot of washer whips. You know, you buy a pack every single month and you get bars like do you know that if you were a consultant, you would get X amount of dollars back every time you placed an order for them? Things of that nature. I will point things out like that. I don't, I don't always mention everything because there's a lot. You don't want to throw up Sensi on people um, and scare them away. So I will tell them little bits here and there, pique their interest, plant that seed, come back every once in a while and water it, and watch the plant grow. So a good waitress will come by. Hey, how's your coffee doing? You need it warmed up? Do you need more coffee? You guys, do you guys good on beverages? Have you ever seen a waitress get upset when somebody says, no, I'm good? No, no, thank you. No, I'm good. Have you ever like seen a waitress walk away and like go stand in the corner and cry because you told them no? Why do we do that to ourselves? You're going to have people say no. You're going to have a lot of people say no. I can't even tell you how many people that have said no to me. I, I've, I've never counted. I don't, I don't think I could ever keep count. But what I can tell you is that a lot of times that no is just no, not right now. So take that into context when you're thinking about having these conversations with people. You know, you don't, don't take that no as like a definitive whatever. But on my list of people, when I have different conversations, when I've offered them that um, hostess exclusive kit, the reduced cost kit, however you're going to word it, when I offer it to them, I'll write down, I offered on this kit like February 22nd, 2023, I had a kit and I offered it. Um, you know, I had this conversation with them. There are a few and I, and I will add them to uh, the files tab here in um, this group. I'm going to add a couple different files when I get off of here, ways that you can help keep track of having these conversations with people. And um, you'll see, like, once you start keeping track of things, you really start to get a more comfortable with it and you can recognize patterns. Um, sometimes patterns, you know, good patterns, sometimes bad patterns. But either way, even a bad pattern it's hard if you don't recognize it to change it. So um, you could say, you know what, every time I call the kit this, um, nobody responds to it. How else are you gonna know unless like you're writing that down? Um, and like I said, I've had, I've called it a few different things and I've gotten different responses with it. Sometimes I include a picture, sometimes I don't. Um, I'm always gauging that response to see if I'm going to get more um, more response from how I word something or what images I include when I'm sharing that. So the goal is to have these conversations. If you were not familiar with the hostess join kit and now you're like, you're like mind blown because you're like, are you kidding me? Like every time I have a bulk order that I'm closing, I could get somebody to join at a reduced cost. Like that's, that's mind blowing. And it's super easy. What you do is um, the person say, you know, say Jill Smith decides that she's going to join. You just go into that uh, party and you create her as the hostess. And then when you go through and you're inputting the host rewards and this works. So even if you say Jill Smith is a friend on Kim, on Kim's party and you offer it to Kim, Kim says, no, I don't want it. Um, not this time. I'm not, I'm not ready for it. There's nothing that says you can't offer this kit to everybody else in the party. You can offer it to whoever you want. It's there. So what I want to explain to you is there's a way for you to offer it, even if you have a hostess or if it's a bulk order and the hostess still get all their rewards. So when I do that, where there's, there's an actual hostess, but somebody else on the party is taking it. What I do is I make that person the hostess. Okay. Cause 
Kim up here, she has no idea. She can't see my back office. She can't see what it says. So when I'm offering it to Jill, it's $59 plus tax. So I can send her um, a square invoice. I can have her Venmo me, PayPal, like however you take payments. And I can just talk to her on the phone and take her card information and input that when I go to close out the account, the close out the party. Um, you can take that payment any way, shape or form. When you do it that way, your hostess up here, she's not missing out on any of her host rewards because Jill is still like she's paying for the kit. So it works. I've done it numerous times. It works. It balances out. Um, and so I'm here to say, like, if you haven't thought about doing this before, you need to try. Um, I would hope that you would try like sometime this weekend um, because or this week and this weekend because it's absolutely amazing. And the kits for our transition months are phenomenal. I love them. So having these conversations um, can seem tricky, can seem hard, but uh, one of the easiest ways that I've had these conversations is when I have hostesses and I have to like pull up my phone because I want to read to you something that um, I have saved in boards, but you can also save it to like say if you have notes or whatever on your, um, your phone, you can save this stuff. Let me go in here. Hold the phone, hold the phone. Because I have to find it. I'm so sorry. I'm going out of my, out of my mind trying to find it. It's normally easier than this, but hey where like if you know me you know i'm like a squirrel at a rave here it is i have it on boards and i literally was like not clicking on the right one because i have a couple different things i have like team stuff and then i have when people first join and then i have i have stuff for my my work my full-time job and i will share this wording okay and you change it but i kind of have this so that it's kind of like most of it is ready to go and then i change things around so when I have a hostess and I want to explain to them the joint opportunity, this is the other thing. If somebody hosts a party, um, sorry, I'm squirrel at a rave, but I promise you the content is good. Just, I just have to get it out. Say you have somebody that's doing an online Facebook party or they took one of your pouches and they're collecting orders from, you know, their friends and family and their coworkers. You come in and they're like, they're over $500 in orders. Say they're like $750. They're almost $1,000. Like, oh, my gosh. Name it. It's You're like so blown away. You're like, this is an awesome party. Like, oh, my gosh. I do not, because I learned the hard way, I do not throw up Sensi or talk to them about joining until we get all the way to the end. And they are selecting their host rewards. And this has worked better for me than anything else. The only time that I will alter this process is if this hostess has said to me like i really like this like what do i have to do to be a consultant like i think i could do this if they come to me with that conversation beforehand any deviation of it if they become inquisitive about it i will start feeding them stuff for them to see if they like it i don't throw up sensi all over them okay so let's just say for the sake of arguments she comes back to you with over five hundred dollars in orders and you're like this would be so awesome like if she joined because she would instantly hit shooting star blah 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 blah. like we're in this incentive and she would do xyz but you are just merely going to offer the opportunity and this is what i say i'm like hey there congratulations on congratulations on hosting an amazing scent event your party level reached, and then I have in there, insert the level. Your party level reached $500, etc. This means you have three half-offs and $75 in free product. So I have it so that you can incorporate what they have. You cannot use the free credit to pay for half-offs. That's a question that I get asked frequently. If you don't understand what I mean, is a lot of times people don't understand why they can't use the free credit to pay the balance of the half-offs. Um, I've been asked that so many times by hostesses, so I make sure I mention that in this verbi this wording. For your selections, you can pick single items and most bundle and saves. 
If you want a purifier half off, it requires three half offs to get it for $125. For premium, did I say purifier? I might have said diffuser. For premium diffusers, you need two half offs. All other, all other items that you can select, you need to have one half off for. So for the bundle and saves, you can do a warmer and three bar combo called the Sensi System for up to a $50 price point warmer. I say, and you can select any six pack of the scent products, any three packs of the cleaning or laundry products, the classic clean bundle, the laundry love bundle, the pet bundle, the body bundle. You cannot use your host rewards for the following items. Our charity warmer, any licensed Disney products, the two warmer six bar bundle called the Perfect Sensi System, and anything in clearance. If there's any questions, let me know. I suggest you make a list of everything that you would like and we can see how we, we can work it in um, with your rewards. One more thing, the best deal possible would be, and then I'm going to explain to them joining I'm going to say you have unlocked and ho a hostess exclusive kit valued at I believe it's like $150 um, for $59 plus tax you can grab this kit for $59 plus tax or you can use part of your host credit your free credit to make this kit cheaper less expensive so at a $500 party, they could get that kit for free. So I will say you can get this kit for free. And if they have any interest in it, I will then send them a picture. So I just explained to them that they can get that kit for $59, $39, $29 free, however much it is. Um, and I will also say, and I will flip this party to you and your commission would be X, Y, Z that you would get back on the 10th of next month. A lot of times people are just, wait a minute, what? I can get money back? Yes, you would be a consultant and you can get money back. So they start asking questions. So that bridges that gap of getting them thinking about it and getting them talking about it. So I've only in very few times have I had somebody say, no, thank you. It does happen. It does happen. So I've only had that happen a couple times, but it, it can happen. It just because you're offering it doesn't mean that they're going to take it. But a lot of times just explaining to them that they can get the kit, just get the kit in general. They can get it reduced if they want it and they're going to make X, Y, Z back. So you need to understand that when somebody first joins, they're making 20% commission so that you can explain to them what they're going to get back. Um, know that if you have somebody that has a thousand dollar party, they're going to get 25% commission back. And, you know, you want to be able to explain that to them. So I'll, I'll have people very intrigued as to doing this. And the other thing, like the one last thing that I'll put on there is that you can do all of this and never sell Sensi ever again. You could just buy for yourself. You could just every couple months when you're going to put in a, an order because you need stuff, you can ask these same friends like, hey, I'm putting in an order. Do you need more bars? Do you need anything? You put everything in and you make the money back. I think a lot of people get intimidated because they see some of us out here um, doing events, doing like crazy things. And they're like, oh, I could never do that. I'll have you know that when I joined, I merely joined because I wanted to make the money back on what I was buying. I had been purchasing Sensi for a year and a half and I had sold a different product completely different product, completely different um, direct sales company. And I liked it. I love the product. I still use the product um, that I have. Um, it was, it's a bad company. So you can like kind of think like, what was that? Um, good product. I never made any kind of money that was consistent. And um, it just became one of those things that was like, hey, eh. like after a while, I just wasn't interested anymore. So I had the conversation with the girl that I had joined underneath of. She was my consultant, my friend. And I asked her, I was like, how do you, how, like, how do you do with, with Sensi? Like, do you have like, are your sales consistent? And she was like, yeah, she says, I've been doing it for this long. I think she'd only been doing it for, I want to say like almost two years. She said, I, I sell on the regular over a thousand dollars a month. And I'm like, what? 
I mean, I had one party with that other company one time that was $1,200. Like one month I did like $1,200 in sales and I was like floored. I'm like, oh, I wish I could do this every month. And it was never like that every month. I would only sell a little bit here and there. I'd be lucky if I was able to put in a party order. Um, so I was like, wait a minute, you regularly sell $1,000 a month. She was like, yeah. And I said, so what's the commission base? She's like, 25%. <laughs> like, wait a minute. So you're telling me every month you make two hundred and fifty dollars just pretty much she was like give or take she was like you know sometimes i sell more she's like every once in a blue moon it might be a slow month and i don't quite sell a thousand but for the most part in the past year i sold a thousand every month and i'm like mind blown mind blown over two hundred and fifty dollars okay you have no idea like even just fifty dollars a month could really impact somebody in such a positive way $50 a month might pay for the kid to take dance lessons or their kid to take karate. I, I don't know. Like you don't ever think that the amount is too little or not enough or somebody won't see it as a blessing. Somebody won't see it as something that could really help them and benefit them. Okay. So I was mind blown over $250 a month when I joined my first month well i joined at the very end of november so i don't even know i don't even know i would assume but i don't even know if i put in sales because it was like the end and end of november but i know in december of 2015 i think i did like almost 14 or 1500 dollars in sales i was like are you kidding like are you kidding me right now i was just mind blown um and i i did have months that i didn't quite sell a thousand but i also grew so quick with it that I had months where I was doing $2,000 in sales. So I was getting 30% commission. And once you do that a couple times, it's all you want. It's all you want. You get an extra hundred dollars. Like who wouldn't want that? So I never thought when I joined that I was going to pretty much do anything more than try to get a consistent, you know, four or $500 in sales a month so that I could have that consistent money build up to a thousand I was ecstatic over two hundred and fifty dollars I'm like man I'm like that would that would pay my car payment and I remember as I was growing faster than I ever imagined um saying to my husband holy cow like can you imagine how awesome that would be if like I consistently paid my car payment with my Sensi paycheck every month and then that started happening it was six eight months later and not only was it happening but it was more i was able to do more than that and i remember when we had this conversation i wanted to get um a new car my i had a jeep wrangler and it was paid off and i was love and sensi i was doing events and um i needed more space like when i would fill my jeep my ford jeep wrangler up because they're boxy and they've got like the roll bar and everything in them, you can only fit so much in them. And I remember trying to do events and I couldn't fit everything in there. And I would have to pick and choose what I wanted to take. And so I wanted a bigger car. So my husband had said, you know, if you're doing this consistently for a year where it would cover this car payment, you know, that you're, you're looking at this car, then I say go for it because it's no skin off our back, right? Like you're, your sense he's going to pay for it and that's how i ended up buying my traverse um which has the same cubic foot area whatever interior as like a tahoe but it just sits lower to the ground and that thing fits everything in it but i'm getting sidetracked so you never know what what amount this could be could be a blessing for somebody so i want you to start thinking about how this could help your friends and i have a couple like points that i was i was asked to try to hit so i don't want to like not hit them um but the one thing that i do want to preface before like i list all of these things is every single time every single time i offer the joint opportunity to somebody when i have these conversations and anybody that has joined with me can attest to this i am not offering this as a benefit to me in any way shape or form i don't care if it benefits me or not 
I don't care if somebody takes a kit and doesn't sell a thing. I gave them the opportunity to change their life with Sensi the way that Sensi has changed my life. And I realize that Sensi changes, it, it helps people in so many different ways. Um, you have no idea the amount of joy that Sensi brings to my life. I would be in probably a very deep, dark place if I did not have Sensi. Um, I suffer from depression and anxiety. I'll be like completely transparent. Can you see like the tip of my finger? I've been, I've been dealing with stuff, family stuff, work stuff, all kinds of stuff. You have no idea the amount of joy that Sensi brings to my life. And I, I don't even care about the money. Like the money is great. I, I do very well. I, I, uh, trust me, I would have to like work overtime constantly or get a get a second job if I didn't have Sensi because like there are aspects of it that pay pay different bills and stuff now, and we're working on paying things down. But for me, one of the biggest things that Sensi has been for me is the amazing people that I've met, the friends that I've met, um, a lot of the leaders that have talked here. Just the community that Sensi has created and harbored and harvested and and loved on and helped to grow is this community of kindness and giving and compassion and I feel like this world lacks that so much so when you're thinking about talking to people about joining don't just always think about the money there is a lady that um, has been on my list forever and I constantly talk to her and she kind of works in the same field that I do She's not a police officer, but she works for a different government aid agency. Um, she's not a police officer. She doesn't carry a gun or anything like that. But she has asked. Like she, like me, had to get permission. She would have to get permission to join. And she has sent a letter on, I believe, three different occasions to her superiors asking to join. For her, it's not the money. She makes really good money. She needed. She needs the community. She needs that love and the loving on from other people that I feel like we have in the entire Sensi community, not just our teams, but just everybody. And I feel really bad because they won't answer her. And it's been years. And she every so often asks again and again, because she's like, I really feel like I need that. Like I need that connection. I need like how you explain how it just, brings you so much joy to hang around these people and have these people in your life she's like I, I need that so don't think that every single person that joins is going to join just for the money sometimes they're going to join for a discount sometimes they're going to join for the money sometimes they're going to join for trips because they can earn trips sometimes they're going to join because they need an outlet like they need that community because they they lack it elsewhere so for me one of the biggest things is the friendships and the community but the other thing is the recognition. I've been a police officer for 20 years. Um, in the state of New Jersey, I can retire 25 years with a full pension. So I've got five years left. And I'll have to see if I can find this because like, I almost cried when, when I read this the other day. I spoke at World Tour in Philly with um, Jenna Plotz, my upline star director. I'm one of her frontline star directors. And um, it's nerve wracking, it's nervous. I've been doing this for over seven years, but I still can get nervous. And I was nervous coming on here to talk to you guys um, because I'm just nervous. I'm going to make an idiot of myself, but I like to laugh. So like sometimes I just I don't care because I laugh about it later. But I have met some amazing people's peoples. See, I'm already saying something horrible. Not really horrible, but I'm already like talking out my butt. So there was a leader that was at Philly that's not from Philly I believe home office asked her you know to come around so um so let me see so I said to her it was so nice to see you today did you happen to get pictures of the star directors that were up front because they had all of us come up and they took pictures and she sent me pictures um so I said, I wish that I could just do this full time and go around to different world tours like you did, laugh out loud, five more years until I can retire. Her response was, you've got lives to change in different ways right now, girlfriend. 
and it really spoke to me because so many times over the years I've had different things happen and I'm like I like I hate my environment that I'm in it's a toxic environment where I work I hate it I hate it I can't wait to leave I can't wait to leave but then somebody looking from the outside in can say something that like just hits you and she's right I do like I'm a training officer like look at me I'm crying um I'm a training officer the world that we live in is such a horrible place where I work they have a very high crime rate um it's a very it's a very it ha every place has its its dangerous sides and everything but um our town is kind of known for some very bad things and she's absolutely right and it's not just it's not just changing the young guys that I work with like guiding them and everything it's it's my interaction with the community it's who I am as a person it's having the heart that I have and wanting better for people um all of that goes into play but she recognized that and so I'm here to tell you that even when you're scared um even when you think nobody's watching there are some and I just absolutely admire her she's a superstar director so many people some of you on here probably absolutely adore her too um it's kelly rashaw and i'm here to tell you that you're going to do some big amazing things too because everybody here whether they're in your upline your downline or they're just on the sensi ride with you they are cheering you on and so i'm cheering you on i want you to go out and have these joint conversations with people because you have no idea the amount of lives you can bless. So I went off on a little bit there. I've had people say, sometimes my kits are free. Sometimes they're free. When I have that conversation, and this would be a bulk order, it's over $500. Um, I have plenty of product that I've built up over the years. Not that you're supposed to, but I do events. So take that into context because I don't know what I would do um, if I didn't do events because I would have accumulated too much stuff but anywho a lot of times my kids are free and when I had that conversation with somebody it's a one-on-one -on -one conversation where I'm offering offering it to them for free because I don't need any more product um, and I would like to see somebody have the opportunity sometimes people can't afford anything so I've had people come back to me and say well you give them a kit for free and then what if they don't do anything so they don't do anything i offered them an opportunity and it it's their responsibility to do something with it it's not my responsibility to make sure that they do something with it i didn't offer them an opportunity because it would benefit me in some way shape or form i offered them an opportunity because they wanted it and they needed it and I had it to give so I want you to think of that when you are having these conversations nothing that you're doing is supposed to be about you it's supposed to be about the other person so understand that you're gonna have people that are gonna join you're gonna have people that are gonna spend $99 on the full kit and they're gonna join and they're not going to do a thing and you're going to just scratch your head and go like i don't understand why they're not doing anything sometimes they fall off and sometimes they come back um and they do something amazing so think of uh, johanna luna she was a consultant for a few years and she fell off and she came back i want to say i think she came back in 2017 and she just like shot for the moon and she landed up in the stars the superstar directors yeah i think it took her like three years and she hit superstar director not everybody will see the benefit right away sometimes they never see it um and they don't do anything and then i've had other people that have been what we would call hobbyist consultants for a certain amount of time and then all of a sudden the light bulb clicks and they were like i want to do this like i want to do more of this i want to do this i want to do that and then they start working on it and then they they just take off so offer to everybody but here's some ideas that have been passed along to me to share with you guys um 
So you can create a list of people that you know um, that you would love to have on your team. So it's not just customers and everything. A lot of times, you know, could be a really good friend of yours that has a very bubbly personality and you think would do phenomenal with this. Um, anyone that loves, you know, home decor or, you know, being an influencer, that's like the end thing now. You know, I see a lot of consultants will stage their products and pictures and they're just, they're so fluid with it. They're so good at it. Do you have a friend that's like that? Like, start sharing, like, give them some sensey stuff and see if, you know, if they can do that also. I mean, it, some people that comes very natural and easy to. So maybe the person that, you know, you're considering is someone that's into that kind of stuff. Um, so think about someone that you think would be awesome and would like to uh, have on your team. Those who have the need for the money aspect of the opportunity, a stay at home parent, maybe they need that interaction with the group of, you know, girl and guy friends on the team, things of that nature. They, they need that interaction of doing home parties and like getting out of the house. You know, maybe, maybe you're going to have team night and they're going to come over and make samples with you, whatever. So you're going to offer that to them. Realtors, nurses, teachers, those are great consultants. So, um, I know if you've seen it before, there's posts about like realtor bundles and stuff like that. You can create your own realtor bundles. So if you have a friend or if you have a local realtor, why don't you start out small by going to them, maybe making up a basket and saying, um, I'm trying to expand my business, um, but I'm also trying to do things like this where you're offering a great gift for new homeowners. And I wanted to see if you would like to purchase like new homeowner baskets from me and you can do it up you can put a warmer in there some wax you can put some laundry stuff some clean stuff you can do whatever you want in there give them the price point like you know how much it's going to cost and you can you can take orders for them you're going to be able to have that conversation like i know that uh jenna has the one realtor and she's been trying to get her to join forever i think one time she got like 10 baskets like all at once she wanted like basically the same ish thing she wanted them ready to go in like the height of the you know realtor market season and she's like I've been trying to get her to join trying to get her to join because she can make them herself she could put in an order every month every other month for a certain many and she could make them herself so you do have that opportunity of first showing them and then once you know they see the benefit of it they might want to know more about how they can do it themselves and get some money back nurses are great because they're around all their coworkers and stuff like that. Teachers, same thing. Um, other salespeople that you might know, um, but basically realtors is one of the big ones that I know that they would love it because they deal with homes. So home decor works well. Um, anyone who may need a blessing, um, like I said, you don't know what the blessing might be, so offer it. So you're gonna have this list, your homework. I don't really know if it's homework or if it's just like an idea. So start thinking, create this list. If you need help, go back, depending upon how long you've been a consultant, go back the last six months, go back to the, to the beginning of last catalog, go back to the beginning of last year and look and see who your consistent customers are, okay? So if you have a customer that say in the past 12 months has ordered eight times, I want you to look and see what they ordered. I want you to figure out what they would have made in commission and try to have a conversation with them and don't don't just like go right in hey do you know that if you join sensi you would have made xyz reach out to this person see how they're doing let them know about the new catalog ask them if they would like a sample a new catalog would they like to host a party like have that conversation with them and if you if you're going back and forth with the conversation with them and you can incorporate that in there hey you know i went back and i looked um and you you were my best customer in 2022 so I just wanted you to know that um, if you were a consultant, you would have made X, Y, Z in commission back on your sales. Um, and if you're ever interested in trying it out, I get these unlocked hostess kits. They're discounted beyond, you know, the full price one and bridge that gap right there. And I'm going to give you the list. I'm going to give you um, a couple different things that you can use to keep track of this stuff. Okay. So you want to just be having these conversations, these natural conversations of how are you, how's your day, 
um, you can be slightly stalkerish if you want and go on their Facebook and see like, oh, hey, how's how's little Timmy doing um, with karate? Um, I saw he just, you know, did his belt test the other day. Um, does he like does he like where he goes? You know, I don't know if you have kids or not, but like you could mention like, hey, I was wondering, like maybe like my little one might be interested. Just have genuine conversations with people about interest in their life and try to incorporate Sensi with it. And then when the opportunity arises, um, you know, the other thing too is by you going on and looking at their stuff and conversing with them, they're going to start paying more attention to you. So when you have that post um, about a free opportunity kit or just a, you know, an unlocked kit, they're going to reach out because they're going to see it more. And that's the other thing. When you're doing that stalkerish, as I call it stalkerish, it's not really... When you're checking out your friends on social media, make sure you like and comment their posts. Make sure you, you know, you encourage them, you you like like what they're posting and you have something positive to say um, so that you start showing up more in their newsfeed too. Because the people that you interact with are the people that show up in your newsfeed, if you didn't know that. And I have officially gone entirely too long. When I looked over the last time, I was like, oh, it's like 38 minutes. I'm like, okay, I'm like, I should cut it off. And now we're at 50. Okay, like I said, I could talk to anybody forever about so many aspects of Sensi, but join is another big one. Um, so I hope that this, I hope this helped you somehow. Um, I don't mean to like be squirrel at a rave and talk about 10 million different things, but when I tell you that Sensi has really blessed me, it's really blessed me in so many more ways than I could ever imagine. Um, and I think I'd started to tell you that um, a big thing for me is the community, the friends that I've made. But the other thing is recognition. My job that I have full time, I get no recognition in. And it's not just Sensi Corporate that I absolutely am just floored by their amazing recognition. Like one thing, like, do you see this flag? Do you see this flag? Sensi gave me this flag. Okay, it's one of the things. And when I came home from Colorado, um, I did the, I was on the incentive trip that went to Colorado Springs and we were at the Broadmoor and we got to see some amazing and beautiful sights. I had such a wonderful time. We had an absolute blast. Um, our farewell dinner, let me tell you something. I am, I am a huge animal lover. Like if I could have a zoo, I would. So when we walked into, um, this, where we had our farewell dinner, it was this huge, beautiful place. And um, first we walk in, there's this donkey wearing this like flower crown. And so we are getting pictures and everything and petting the donkey. And I'm just like, I'm ecstatic over the donkey. And then we walk in and they had wolves. They had owls, hawks. They had all these different animals. And we were allowed to go around and like pet them and like have pictures taken with them. And I was like, mind blown i was my husband knew because like it's one of the ex, like one of the things you could pay for while you were there at the broadmoor was like this falconry um experience but it was so expensive and he was like you just you just want it to, like a bird like lands on your hand or like your arm or whatever and he was like i'll, I'll take you somewhere and do that like it's too much money so like you know we walk in and he was like well i'm glad we didn't play pay for the falconry <laughs> because i had that experience for free at, at, you know, the farewell dinner because since he's so absolutely amazing. But, you know, when you go on these incentive trips that give you room drops and, um, when we were done at the farewell dinner, we were taking these big shuttle buses back to, um, the Broadmoor and people in our group had started commenting about the, the last room drop and nobody would say what it was. And they were just saying, hey, like, I'm not going to spoil it, but when you guys get back, like, the room drops are absolutely amazing. Um, I don't want to spoil it. I'm not posting a picture. And so then, like, you know, some of us, because I want to say there was, like, three busloads of us, were like, geez, like, I wonder what it could be. And I'm like, like, your mind does not even go there. It doesn't even go there. We, My husband and I walk into the hotel room, and laying on the bed is that folded flag wasn't in the case I bought a case for it and this certificate this letter and a book about America and the certificate the letter 
came from my senator in New Jersey and it came from Sensi and it said that um, that flag was flown in my honor at my state capitol and it gave a date for earning the Sensi incentive and I lost it. I just started bawling. You have no idea what Sensi has given me. It has made up for years of nobody recognizing any effort I've ever put into anything. And I am like, I am just Nicole. I am just a consultant. Why the heck would anybody fly a flag at our state capitol on my behalf? Like I'm, I'm nobody. And it really puts things into perspective when you get to really see everything that Sensi is. And I will forever honor and cherish that more than any mug or like binoculars and just all kinds of stuff that I've gotten being on incentive trips. I bawled my eyes out because I've never had anybody appreciate me as much as my Sensi family and my community has. So keep that in mind when you're going out and you're doing stuff like you, you have this amazing gift that you can give people and you like start viewing it that way and you will see that things will change for you dramatically because when you give more than you take you will receive blessings tenfold and I'm almost to an hour so I'm going to get off I was not intending for it to be that long I apologize if you guys have any questions or anything feel free to comment or reach out to me I'm an open book and I'm always willing to help so I love you guys thank you for listening to my whole rant about everything and life in general um, sometimes I just need to talk and I'm glad that you guys were here to listen so keep doing amazing things and I can't wait to see you and you achieve all of your dreams I'll see you bye